Greetings my little intergalactic nose miners and welcome to today's transmission from Mercury 5. As ever, I'm Paul, your captain. And I'm Donna and as always we have a cosmic broadcast for you Earthlings today so let's take a look at what's in store. Very shortly we'll have an exclusive behind the scenes interview with chart breaking new girl band Nexus. And then we have Dex regular view on what's entertaining you down on your planet and we also read out your emails and letters in red alert. Risking life and limb yet again, Deck does the dares and you set the challenges in Dare Deck. And Earth Star Search is finally over and the winners, Galaxy, are on board to perform for us. So if any of you space cadets out there want to contact us on Mercury 5 to ask questions to our guests or us, if you want to Dare Deck or take part in any of our features, you can email us at contact at mercury5.com or write to us at Mercury 5, PO Box 121, London, England. And somewhere in the course of today's transmission see if you can spot an alien when you do give us a ring on 0845 56 5456 calls cost a maximum of 20 british earth pence but remember to ask permission before you call we will announce the winner and at the end of the show as well as the mystery prize but right now it's time to bean up another pair of intrepid space cadets to take part in this week's console conflict <laughs> Okay, I've just had a communication from Deck saying that they are actually on board, so let's go and meet the contestants. Deck, who have we got? Our first contestant today is Danny! Our first Danny is 10 years old and comes from Newark in England. In his spare time, he is a cheerleader for the girls' netball team, but he hopes one day to become a top hairdresser. But challenging Danny today is his twin brother, Sam! Sam is also 10 years old, his favourite hobby is knitting and he hopes one day to own the largest collection of Barbie dolls. Hi guys, welcome to Console Conflict. Now Danny and Sam will be going head to head on Star Wars Racer Revenge on the PlayStation 2. Now this is a futuristic racing game, well it's futuristic by your Earth standards anyway in which the first one to cross the line is the winner. During the race, the players can use all sorts of underhanded tactics to knock the other contestants off the racetrack. Now, we're going to let the boys practice throughout the show, and then we're going to come back just before the break for the head-to-head -head challenge. Now, we up here at Mercury 5 have heard many positive things about Earth's new old girl band, Nexus. After coming second on popular Earth television show, Star for a Night, they've been touring up and down the UK. And our Earth correspondence team caught with them backstage on their tour. Take a look. Nexus are Anna, Frankie and Holly and they're a brand new R&B group from London and are preparing to take the UK music industry by storm with their new single, Tell Me. And we at Mercury 5 caught up with them in London. She's talking about that here. She's talking about that here. Okay. Sign up and join the fan club. We're going to get our hair done at Paul Edwards' hairdressers. A future for you and me. Tell me. What you really want me for Is it my love or am I just a trophy Tell me, tell me We followed the girls preparing for a gig at the Sound Nightclub in Leicester Square um, I think all three of us have been really, really lucky with our family and friends because they've all been so supportive since day one since we started out about four years ago and they've never once tried to tell us what to do they've just been with us all the way through the good times and the bad and we've got brilliant family and friends. They act, they're really proud of me, which is a really nice feeling. I mean, my sisters, they come to absolutely everything. They're always at every single show we do. Um, you'll probably see them. But, like, my mum's really proud as well, because you know by little things, when you go in, like, she's bought me a scrapbook, we put everything in for, like, everything that we've done, which you know that they obviously care, and then all their friends want pictures and some photos. But they're really cool, they're really supportive. You like my hair? It's coming out green. My personal expectations are for us to be really successful. No, we just want longevity though. Uh, rather than a short-lived career, we want to be there for a long time because it's what we love doing. So. If I could be anyone in the world, any, art, any pop artist in the world. I'd like to be 
be Kylie Minogue actually. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh. Not necessarily his performance, but Michael Jackson, the way he draws people in, I think that's a really good quality of head. Oh. Make sure you tune in next week because we've got Nexus on board and they'll be performing for us and we'll be interviewing so don't miss it. But talking of things showbiz, now it's time to go over to Deck for his unique view on your entertainment world. Bo, listen up. This is Stars from the Stars. It's the only entertainment news broadcast that comes to you live from here in space. And it's read by me, Deck. The most fly alien in the galaxy, man. Now dig this. Super Babe Hollywood Lance, who plays Flick in Neighbours, is releasing a single called Kiss. The star has wanted to sing all her life and hopes someday she may echo the success of her own pop idol, Kylie Minogue. Shaving! Well, I just hope Holly knows what she's in for. It's a busy, busy life in the pop world, as Posh Idol the Wilster is finding out. He definitely ain't got no time for chilling. There's an album to record for starters. He's in the middle of the pop idol tour at the moment, and then he starts his own tour just before Crimbo. My advice, Will, don't forget to catch your Zeds, man. They're getting nasty. And that advice also goes out to Westlife, who are currently smashing records rather than making them. The lads are playing a massive 10 dates in Belfast, and they shifted over 40,000 tickets in just 30 minutes for their Dublin dates. The tour just keeps on growing, and if they carry on selling, the tour won't finish till 2056. One person who certainly isn't sticking around, though, is gravelly voice superstar Michael Greco, who plays E20 owner Beppe Di Marco in EastEnders. Now, it was announced this week that he had, would be leaving the cast two months early after an argument with the bosses. Returning to EastEnders for good, though, is Sharon Mitchell, played by Letitia Dean. Sharon left her boyfriend Phil at Christmas, but the stage could now be set for a romantic reunion. That's all for this week, folks. In a bit. Selector.